Hi, I'm Victor and today I'm going to show you the new version of uh, the node that creates dimensions from each column to the closest grid line. The old node had some disadvantages, some bugs, but now all of them are fixed and the node works in a slightly different way. If you want to see how the old node was working, you can check uh, the old video, I'm going to put it in the description or I'm going to link it somewhere on the screen. And But this now is the new node. So the inputs are a little bit different, but here it's how it works. First input is columns, so you just select your columns. In this case, I'm using the regular selection. You can use all kind of selecting tools. You can decide to filter your input here, but now I'm simply selecting those columns. The second input is grids. So you select the grids. You can select them with a selection like this, if you want to select only certain two grids. You can press run. But you can also uh, just pick all of the grid lines, categories, grids, all elements of category, and connect that to the second input. And as you can see, the dimensions are created. Uh, all the other inputs are optional. You can see you only need the first two. But uh, those dimensions now, they are red. Maybe you don't want red. And they are red because we left the dimension type void. That means that whatever dimension we chose the last time in Revit will appear as um, default dimension. So if now I create one of those and I run the script again, these are going to be the same. But we can select the dimension type here. So what I'm using to select the dimension type is a node from Archilab. Get all dimension styles. I'm looking at the name of the dimension style. And I select it with list get at index. So I can select the red one which is number 8 here. This selection was done in a slightly different way in the other node, but was changed because there were some problems in the Python code with some more exotic names of the dimensions that contain uh, special symbols. Uh, what's another input? Update or create new. So that this is an interesting thing because I have to explain actually how the node remembers the dimensions because if I now move this column here and I run it again, the dimensions to these grid lines are going to be deleted and new dimensions are created to the new closest grid lines. And actually this node creates a text file alongside your project. So this is my project now. And this is the text file created in the same folder with the same name as the project. And it is created by the Python script and it contains all the IDs of the created uh, dimensions with uh, code before them. So actually, each time you run the script, you run the node, the node checks if those dimensions were created already, and if they were, it deletes them and creates new. Uh, but you can turn that off. You can turn that off by feeding a boolean value 
a boolean false to this update or create new and then those are not going to be deleted new ones are going to be created as well but I'm going to undo that and unconnect this grids to ignore uh, this is interesting because uh, let's say you have this b2 and this is code 1 prim or something let's say we, we want to ignore them you can simply use a list of strings to ignore both of them or a single string to ignore one of them let's say you want to ignore the b2 you just type b2 run and now what happens okay this is um, I'm going to delete all the dimensions now the reason this uh, happened is uh, because the previous time we set that to false but now it should be it should be okay Yeah, uh, you can't really see oh, yeah we can see it here that the b2 is now ignored this dimension is created directly to the b and if I detach the b2 you can see it changes back to it and of course if I connect both of them in a list and run again these dimensions are created something I have to uh, note is that uh, you have uh, it it is better to run this script in manual mode when you run it in uh, automatic we risk an infinite loop so this is just an advice it's not always a problem but sometimes it is and what's the last input just offset in the old node there was another input called uh, unit value so it was a really bad way to convert between units but now it's simply an offset in the same units as your project is and mine is in millimeters so if I just offset the dimension lines with 200 millimeters this is what happens sometimes you need this for like uh, just uh, visual representation what bugs were fixed several of them actually uh, we had some problems with uh, imperial units before this is now solved we had problems with these um, grid lines with a knee like this they they were causing some reference problems but as you can see now now it's okay and also we had problems with the sloping with the angled grid lines like this because the dimensions were not created in this manner they were actually I just draw a detail line they were created like this so this is now represented in a correct way the shortest dis distance between the column and the grid line and this is it uh, for now we can find the link to my website and the note in the description um, if you liked the content you can click on like or if you didn't like it you can click on dislike you can consider subscribing if you want to see more from from me and this is it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a great day.